Alright folks, uh, we're just going to be looking at a, a, a five or six part series, uh, just briefly, looking at uh, an overview of the Old Testament. So we're just going to have a quick panoramic view, excuse me, of the Old Testament, okay? Uh, so where does the Old Testament begin? It begins in John, uh, the Gospel of John. Uh, chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God in the beginning he was in the beginning with God all things were made through him and without him nothing was made um, in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shined in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it so there is that Christ was pre-existent okay then if you turn to Isaiah chapter 14 <laughs> excuse me so we're just going to get a, a real sort of potted history or a look at the Old Testament Isaiah 14 um, 12 to 17 it says how you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations. So we've got Christ was pre-existent, the Son of God. Then we've got Satan was cast out. And now uh, we're looking at um, Genesis um, chapter 1, verse 1. Then we have creation. And we have... Um, the word of God in Genesis chapter 1 it says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and this was a six day creation if you look at Genesis um, 1 3 it says then God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness and God called the light day and the darkness he called night so the evening and the morning were the first day so there were a, so there was Christ in the beginning, there was Satan cast out, and then God created six day creation. Then you had the Garden of Eden. God created a garden and put Adam and Eve in it. And that's uh, Genesis chapter 2, uh, verse 8 to 17. I'm just looking at my notes. Uh, Genesis uh, 2, 8 to 17. The Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for the food, the tree of life that was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there to part, parted and became four river heads. So God cr created a garden and he put Adam and Eve in it, but then Adam and Eve fell from grace, rebelled against God. And that's uh, Genesis 3, 1 to 7. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said you shall not eat of the tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves coverings. And they heard the sound of the Lord God, walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I have heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, 
Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? And then the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all the cattle, more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust, and the days of your life, and I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life, both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for, uh, for you, and you shall eat the herbs of the field. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken, and dust you are, and to dust you shall return. So we've seen uh, Adam and Eve's fall, we've see, we see in Genesis 3.21, uh, and Adam's expulsion and Eve's expulsion out of the garden uh, and Adam called his wife name Eve and because she was the mother of all also for Adam and his wife the Lord God made tunics of skin and clothed them and Adam and Eve were kicked out of the garden of Eden but notice the Lord provided tunic skins for Adam and Eve and that was a prophecy that the Messiah would come that you could only have atonement Right at the beginning there was a prophecy that that Adam and Eve would needed to be covered by uh, the blood of Christ there. And then uh, in Genesis uh, chapter 4 we see Cain, um, Adam and Eve's offspring, kill Abel. And then in Genesis chapter 5 verse 28 and 29 we have the story of Noah. And in chapter 7 verse 10 to 24 we have the flood. Do you remember God told Noah to build the the um, the ark, and uh, he, the wickedness of people had grown really, really badly, and God brought judgment on the whole world, and Noah and his family were saved in the in the ark. Then, in Genesis chapter eleven, uh, you have the Tower of Babel. Do you remember men built the tower and they were proud of their achievements and thought they were really clever. And God brought the tower down and made everybody speak in different languages. And then we have in uh, Genesis chapter 11, 27, uh, Abraham. And uh, he is given a promise um, that uh, he is going to be a great leader of God's people. And then we have um, Genesis chapter 17, that great chapter where God... Um, blesses Abraham and uh, in fact we'll go to Genesis 17 so we're, we're on to the patriarchs just checking for time uh, Genesis ch uh, chapter 17 verse 1 when Abraham was 99 years old the Lord appeared to Abra Abraham and said to him I am almighty God Walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you, and will multiply your you exceedingly. Then Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. So there's a prophecy there already that God's going to bless the nations through Abraham okay um, and then we have the story of uh, Joseph uh, we, we have the stories uh, from Genesis 21 to 30 of Isaac and Jacob and Joseph do you remember those stories um, Jacob was a bit of a twister and he had his he twisted uh, his inheritance uh, and then we have um, 
God blessed Jacob though and God called Joseph and Joseph uh, was had the coat of many colors do you remember and he was cast into uh, into prison and he, he went through a difficult life but he became the prime minister of Pharaoh's kingdom and you get the patriarch story from Genesis 21 to 30 so what we've looked at so far uh, is the creation story and then we've just thought about Cain and Abel and Noah the flood and the Tower of Babel and Abraham and then about Isaac and Jacob and Joseph so that's the creation and the flood and the patriarchs alright so that's the basic flow of that part of the Old Testament and we're going to look at some more uh, in a moment okay thank you for listening and God bless you